a pretty tough day for Major League Baseball, Ray, because the the organizations of the Philadelphia Phillies and the Colorado Rockies and Los Angels and the Orioles and the Twins and the Athletics lost a couple of great ones today. Darren Dalton, the former Philly, passed away, and we lost a heck of a friend because he worked with us at Masson when Ray was taken off some years ago, and that's Don Baylor. Don Baylor died today at age 68 in Austin, Texas. Recruited by Texas to play football. He gave up football, said, I don't want to play football. I want to play baseball. 19 seasons, 19 seasons, nine years as a manager. Played with the Orioles and the Angels and the Athletics, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Twins. MVP, American League Most Viable Player in 1979 with the Angels, an all-star. He did it all. And he was one of the nicest, nicest gentlemen you could ever meet. And when you took off, Ray, I had the pleasure of having Don uh, sitting in that seat next to me. And he was a giant teddy bear, I guess you could call him. You know, he was, he was kind of overimposing a little bit because when I first met him, I didn't know him like you did. But you don't know what to say with a guy like that, as big and strong as he was. But he was a gentle, gentle man and a tremendous loss to all of us. Really is, Johnny. I, I knew Don Baylor for 41 years and um, used to have spring training when we were with the Reds. And they, would, they were down in Miami with the Orioles. And, um, and I got to watch him hit. Uh, and this guy was blessed with so much talent. But as you say, he was a giant uh, of a man and had a heart as big as the room. Uh, a leader, Johnny. He was a guy that was all business. He was kind. He was gentle. He was imposing, though. He would look at you and not say much. It, but he had this quiet, um, quiet demeanor, and he wasn't a real talker. Now, he would engage you, mm -hmm. and he would smile. But I got to be with him in a lot of close situations. He was really instrumental with his strength and his very, very smart uh, in the Players Association and the negotiations in the mid-70s, early 80s as a player representative. And I was also a player representative. And we would go and we would battle the owners and their lawyers uh, right across the table. And although I say Don Baylor was quiet, until he got riled up, or he believed in something, and he was probably the strongest person we had on our panel. Uh, it didn't matter who you were. Uh, he would stand up to the owners. He would tell them exactly what he thought, uh, and he made a big impact on Major League Baseball that way, a big impact as a manager. I managed against him, a huge impact as a player, as he was the MVP in 79, uh, a guy that 230 pounds, that was all muscle. And quick. And could fly. 56 stolen bases. Could fly. I know. And he would have been a, he was a great championship type player. They won it in 87 with the um, Minnesota Twins. He was the DH in 86 with the Red Sox that we were able to win and beat. But he, he imposed his will. He stood right on top of the plate. He was hit over 300 times by pitches. He never charged the mound. He just bought, hit him on the big arms or the side. And he just walked to first base like he was hit by a, m a marshmallow. I love you, Don. Uh, I'll miss you. And you set an example and blazed the way for a lot of people, buddy. And Dusty Baker and Don Baylor went way back. We signed the same time. Uh, we were in double A and against each other, triple A for two years. I was uh, supposed to be the next Hank Aaron. He was the next Frank Robinson with the Orioles. And we, we fought for batting titles all the way up. And, you know, we all try to keep up with Donnie, you know. And, uh, you know, we used to play everything. I was a better basketball player, but he was a better, stronger baseball player. You just don't know how close that is to you know, to all of us. So just treat each other right and uh, just try to do the right thing. 